No. Yeah. Padas, padas. Okay, both of these are spicy. And I have to say, it makes things so much easier. Holy. Wow. This is a big tuna. Visiting the Padang Market, I could go on my own, but I think it's much better to go with a guide because I have lots of questions about the food, the fruits, the fish, all of the things that you can find there. Good morning from Padang, West Sumatra. Today is one of my favorite days because I'm going to explore the market, Pasar Raya, which means Grand Market here in Padang. Now, this is not my first time here. I was here a few weeks ago, and to be honest, it was really overwhelming. It is big, it's like a maze. It's crowded, there's lots of people, there's lots of noise, and I don't understand 99% of what people have said to me. So, I'm back at the market. I'm here with Alan, my Padang guide, and he's going to share with me everything I need to know about Pasar Raya. Now, before we go in, I just want to share one thing. This market in Padang, like every market around the world, is one of the areas where uh, there's crime. It's much more likely to be pickpocketed. So you really want to pare down to what you actually need. Don't show a lot of uh, phones, money, all that kind of stuff. Because in Padang, like every other place in the world, there is a potential you might be pickpocketed. So this is a place you want to be safe. I feel comfortable with my camera because I'm with a guide. He's also carrying all my valuables. But I'm going to show you the best parts of this market and why you should go. If you want a snack outside the market, there are people making lots of delicious things, fresh to order. Lots of people stopping by. You can't go wrong with fried food. Not the healthiest, but definitely one of the tastiest. All right, not even two seconds into the market. And as I was shooting some video, others gorengan, which is fish, I think. One of the gentlemen just said, come here and try it. So I can see types of little fish. It's fried, it's fresh, it's hot. Very good. Now you can see a little fish right there. Very tasty. Let's start to the market. All right, so this is why you get a guide. I turned around and I saw this. And Alan explained that there are fresh or dried herbs here. So when someone dies, they are cleaned before they are buried. And so you clean them with the fresh herbs, the lime and roses, along with rose water, and then you put fresh cotton on them. And he said the roses also sometimes have a special magic that they use for when people are buried. I love pineapple. I love it. I'm really tempted to buy just a whole one, but it, it's so early in our market visit. And I don't know what these other things are here that she's got. Is, are those big papayas? I hate papaya. I like pineapple. Not pineapple. Maybe when we come back, we'll get a pineapple on the way back. Yeah. is jengkol, which is known as stinky bean. I actually really love it. It's so tasty. You can find it in a lot of dishes, but everyone says that it makes your breath smell for days after eating it. I don't know. It's worth it. And then right here are jengkol chips that I had yesterday at a nasi padang. This is salat. You can also get it in the Amazon in Ecuador. It almost tastes like a fruity, strawberry, pineapple-y kind of fruit. And on the outside, it just looks like a snake skin. I feel like I want to buy a lot of things here. All my favorite fruits. I'm such a sucker for the fruit. All right, this is the brother of the stinky bean. I actually think it smells a little bit more than that jenko. Ah, tamarillo, cool. All right, this is tree tomato, which the only other country I've seen it in is Ecuador and a little bit of Colombia. I love this. This right here is a kind of lime. 
I've never seen anything like that before. So many things I've never seen before. Okay, so we entered the section which is most of the fruit, the fruit section of the market. But Alan told me that this is just a little bit of the fruit. It comes daily from the villages in the afternoon. And so at night is the time you want to come. This is the main entrance to the market. So we walked through so much and now we're gonna go inside? Yeah, we'll go inside. All right, so I'm now at the main market in Pasaraya. And this is basically structured like a traditional supermarket. So you have different sections, meats, spices, produce. And so whatever you're looking for, you just head to that section and you're pretty sure to find it. So it's a lot cooler than outside, which is quite nice. All right, looks like we are in the home section. This woman remembers me from making rendang with Jenny and Bayou. Yes, Jenny and Bayou. All right, here you can smell all of these chilies. Now, something that I have learned in Indonesia is a lot of the food looks really spicy, but the spiciest chilies are green and orange. So I know these ones are okay. Red is okay. Little green ones, little orange ones, very, very spicy. And then if you want to make sambal, you can make it yourself or this nice man right here can make it for you. And so you can see the sambal right here. I think that's what I would do if I lived here. And then pedas. Yeah. But not pedas. No. Yeah. Pedas, pedas. Okay, both of these are spicy. I thought I knew what was going on, but no. Both spicy. Earlier this month, I went to a very local neighborhood market with a local. And now I'm here with Alan. And I have to say, it makes things so much easier. I feel completely comfortable to ask a lot of questions because everything looks so different and people are still so nice, but at least I have someone to translate. Oh my God, look at this. Does anyone need garlic? Because they have so much garlic here. Wow. So much garlic, look at this. They are all taking care of the garlic. And then we have more people that are just taking out the cloves of garlic. Wow, it smells amazing. But so much work. I can't imagine doing this. People do this by a hand. Oh, you've got lots of tofu here. Tahu, tofu. So it looks like you have hard tofu. Tahu. Yeah. And then, ah, these are lumpia wrappers, bean sprouts. What is this? Ah, tempeh. Tempeh, tahu, lumpia. Ah, and he washes the bean sprouts there. Nice. Okay, so the bean sprouts here they ferment and it's in the tempeh. Am I the only one that didn't know this? Now that was just a fraction of the produce market. So there's produce, there's so much sambal, there's so many spice mixtures, lots of crackers, napkins, everything you need. But right now we're gonna head into the fish market. So the fish here not only comes from the ocean, but you can also find some river fish as well. I think this is paired fish. Snapper, maybe. Snapper, baby. Snapper? Ah. And then I think this is paired fish. Ah, crab. Little crabs, guys. These aren't even worth eating. It takes so much effort to eat these. Kids selling garbage uh, bags. Wow, this is a big tuna. Blue. Oh, 
look at this cat. This cat is just waiting for this guy to throw him some. All right, I have to say the friendliest section is definitely the fish section. Everyone was very interested of where I was from. I could hear them saying to each other, Canada. Also just happy to tell me what kind of fish they had with whatever English they have. I have no Indonesian. I don't know any fish in Indonesian. So I need to learn that. Unfortunately, meat section not open today. Today is Tuesday. And so if you want to check out the meat in the market, you need to go towards the end of the week because that's when people start to eat more meat. But apparently there are more things to see here. So we're going to check some other parts of the market. Last section of the market we're going down is not traditional. It's just vendors who take advantage of the foot traffic here. They're selling anything and everything. So we're gonna see what do people sell. It's gonna be a little bit of everything, I think. This is like, the, Alan said, a type of liche, but not quite. I don't know what it is. Oh, I definitely want to get some pineapple and watermelon before we go. You want to buy here? Yeah. Yeah. Now, one of the things I do love at the market is it's a really good opportunity to practice a language. I have been practicing Indonesian on Duolingo, just finished a number section. And so when he told me it was Dua Pulu, for that fruit, I was like, I know this, it's 20. <laughs> I am not very good at Indonesian, but I am trying, I'm trying, it's my goal. All right, so this is just, if you need stuff, it's at the market. We've got some kids clothes, some bells, hello. Pants. I feel like I was down here at one point. Fabric, if you want to make things. You know what? I am pretty sure I was down here at one point when I was trying to look for traditional clothing. This is beautiful, but very beautiful. I don't have anywhere to wear it. What is this like if you get married? Oh, oh it's a pray. What do people wear if they get married? Yeah, oh, just pray. for praying. Yeah. Okay. We keep going. Makasi. And then lots of fabric here. Ah. Oh. I think this is if you need to get something hemmed or made, this is the place you go. Ah, cool! Here are the dasters. So, when I look for clothing in Indonesia, I always like this. But this is a daster, which is a house dress. But it's cotton and bright. What I want to wear because it's so hot here. More dasters! I feel like someone could make a really good business of buying dasters in Indonesia and then selling them as clothing in Canada. Summer clothes. Look how beautiful this is. So pretty and light and colorful. Perfect for this weather, but women here don't wear it. They wear heavy clothing. Modern clothing. Nothing. Jeans, Levi's, shirts. Lots of brands. Yeah, you can get everything in this market. Random clothing in the streets. Yeah. Jeans in the street. Just a truck full of jeans. Oh, and all of the jeans are falling oh, now. I hope you enjoyed this tour of Pasa Raya, the grand market here in Padang. It is huge. It's busy. It's loud. I actually really recommend going with a guide like Alan because there is so much going on there, especially if you want to take video or pictures. It's really good to have somebody to kind of watch your back and then also someone to translate because people here are so nice. They want to chat. They want to know where you're from, where you're living, all of these things. And so a guide is so helpful. I think we're going to go to lunch, but in the next video, I'm going to share with you five iconic foods from Padang. So I hope you stick with me. Hello. Look at all of these sneakers here. 100,000, which is under $10. Adidas, every brand. Not real. But for $10, who cares? Join my Patreon community for more behind the scenes and exclusive content you won't find elsewhere.
You can also find me on Instagram and be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. All of these things make my day. Thank you so much for your support.